So here are all of my seedlings. They're doing really good. They all look like slivers of grass. Here are my robustas. This one here is still the same as, uh, like it looks the same as um, from my last video. So um, I'm not too sure. Maybe that one's just taking a taking its time and growing. But here we have a few of the uh, windmill palms. More windmills over here. And over here, the windmills are doing really good. Um, they're doing a lot better than the robustas, I think. Um, these ones are just a little difficult for me to uh, uh, understand, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Like, they're a little bit tricky, these here. They're like, ah, just give me dirt, water, um, water me however much, and um, I'll just grow. These ones here are really picky. I have one windmill in here that's doing really good. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and see uh, in the next couple days. Let's go outside. I want to show you my robusta that's in a pot already. Okay, so before I show you guys, don't get mad at me. It uh, it, ha it has a little bit of a boo-boo right now, and uh, I'm trying to give it what it needs, trying to help it out, but so far, it looks like this. It used to stand up. I don't know if you guys remember. It stood up like that. Now it just falls right down. So um, I watered it one day, and I think I watered it a little bit too much, and so it started to droop, and then um, I ended up repotting it, and still nothing. I went ahead and did the sand, per, a whole bunch of perlite and uh, the soil. So uh, still nothing. I just want it to grow, get big, and just start new growth and it's not and it's just irritating because nothing's happening to it. It just wants to fall over. Okay, so now moving on, I woke up this morning and decided to take a look at my Sagos. Well, I always look at them, but this morning I decided to take a thorough, in-depth look I guess that's how you say it, um, at my Sagos, and I noticed that there was new growth coming in. Um, this one here isn't getting any new growth. That one there isn't either, and that one over there is not as well. This is the only one, this pineapple looking one, that is getting the new growth. So if you guys can see right in there, those little tiny fronds coming in, and over here on this one, see how that one's like, it looks rotten that's when you know it's not fresh or, or when it's new I don't even know how to explain that but and then over here there's nothing as well so that one is the only one that's coming in strong I'm excited to see here in the next couple months how this uh, turns out I don't know if you guys know but I do live here in Colorado here in the next couple months it is going to be cold and snowing and yeah so I'm gonna have to bring these guys inside um, maybe I might leave one of them out here for the winter just to see how they do during the winter and then take a look at it come next summer but um robolini don't really like that one that one's all right um moving on to the majesty palm i don't know if you guys can tell but this frond here is new um it's still opening up a little bit but just a couple days ago it was closed and it looked like this one right here so i don't know if you guys can tell but this one here is about to open as well and so it'll just pop once it's like like almost about to open it'll like pop out you know i don't know if that makes sense like it'll pop like that and then it'll it'll look like that so i'm excited for this one um this one here has been in a pot for about i'd say since may of 2022 and it's looking really good this one i put in the ground and this one's not looking too good so it's still getting burnt crusty and looking gross but um She's, she's doing good up here, as you can tell. I still have a whole bunch of grasshopper chunks missing out of here, which is irritating. I have to come out here like a couple couple times uh, through the day and, and knock them off because they're just eating my, eating my majesty, all kinds. Um, look at that. That looks ridiculous. Seriously. Okay, but um, yeah, so she's getting burnt tips. Like I said in my last video, I just think we're too dry. Of a, we're not we're not humid here um, but yeah there's that one down there and then I had to uh, we had a big thunderstorm I don't know if I told you um, in a couple of my last videos but I had to strap her down so um, yeah so I didn't water her today I need to water her maybe that's why she needs a crap ton more water I don't know we'll try and uh, st I'm still trying to experiment with her um, but this one here Next month will be August and September, and then come October, I'm guessing, or I'm thinking that the beginning of October, I'm going to have to take her out, and um, this spot will be empty until I can get 
um, either a Robusta or a Wimmo Palm um, in that spot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video on all my palm trees. I got a few that aren't doing too good, a few that are doing great. Um, my seedlings are doing fantastic. Uh, there are a lot to handle though because I have to bring them out here during the day and then bring them back inside at night. And it's a lot to ha it's a lot because I don't have enough hands to be doing like one trip. I got to take like multiple trips. And then the other thing is, is during the day is I have to keep an eye on them because grasshoppers will hop on them and start taking chunks out of them like my majesty over there. So all my seedlings are like my, my little babies and I have to keep an eye on them 25 eight. So yeah, so this is why I have to throw this in there and I have to show you guys. This is why I got this shirt proud plant parent. I love this shirt. It's my favorite shirt. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. You guys push the subscribe button. Join Garza Palms. I need to think of a catchphrase like the palm family, the palm something. I don't know. I got to think of something. You guys let me know. If you guys have any ideas, comment them down below. I will be sure to reply back to you guys. Thank you guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.